Peace and blessings, peace and blessings. It's Mark the Messenger. We're back in our video. This one's going to be about seven signs. Someone is dangerous and God is warning you to avoid them because if you don't avoid them, destruction lies at the door. Okay, number one, let's get it. Let's go. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. Okay, you're going to get internal and external warnings from God when it comes to dealing with dangerous people, when it comes to dealing with someone who's sent, sent by the devil, sent by these demons, sent by uh, the spiritual wickedness in high places, but are pretty much sent by Satan's army, okay? You're going to get warnings from God, internal and external. So let's talk about internal first, okay? The Holy Spirit will always warn you when, it, when destruction lies near. The Holy Spirit will always warn you when you're in the wrong place at the wrong time, or when you're about to be at the wrong place at the right wrong time, when you're about to get in a friendship with a Judas, okay? Uh, when you are about to get a, a relationship with a woman or a man who is just sent by, you know, the spiritual wickedness in high places, who is sent by Satan's army to destroy you, because that's what these demons and Satan, their whole, the whole agenda, the whole goal, when they're sent to your life is to destroy you. Because what does the devil come to do? John chapter 10, verse 10 says, he comes to steal, kill, and destroy. So when these devils and demons are sent by uh, your way, okay, to destroy you. So God will warn you. The Holy Spirit will warn you, but it's up to you to obey. Many people don't obey the Holy Spirit. And now when you sow it to your flesh, which reaps a corruption, you're now going to go through heartbreaks. You're going to go through sorrows. Uh, some people might, you might even lose your life. You know, you had a, the rapper take off. He was at the wrong place at the wrong time. He lost his life. And I could tell you, God warned him. He had a dream. He said he had a dream that um, he had some messy stuff. I'm pretty sure some of you guys uh, saw it. So God always warned us in our dreams. The Holy Spirit is always warning us. Okay. Your intuition. Uh, and also you have external. Okay. So the, the internal is the Holy Spirit. Okay. Uh, your God will give you dreams. God will give you visions. Okay. You're going to feel it in your spirit. Okay. The external is people will tell you, people will warn you, okay? Even the people who were sent by the devil to take you out, even they will warn you. That's how God works. <laughs> That's how God works. He, he will even use them, okay? In a, and now they, they'll do it in a conniving way, in a sneaky way, but even they will tell you. When, when, when you're about to be destroyed, when God has already used the, the, the people on his side to tell you, okay, now, and, and you ain't listening, so now God, because you, you mocked, okay? You mocked at the calamity. You, you, you just laughed or you just thought it was a joke. You ignored the Holy Spirit. God's going to laugh at when you fall. God's going to laugh. Okay, so now he's going to use your enemies to warn you, and you won't even know. So best believe, guys, when destruction lies near, when you're with a dangerous person, when you're dealing with someone who's sent by the devil, okay, God will warn you internally, okay, and he'll also warn you externally. He'll use other people around you, family members, friends. He will use them, okay? Number two, they have a history of people doing them, uh, so they have a history of people doing them wrong, quote unquote, people doing them wrong, right? And past instructions, but plays victims, okay? I remember I was in a relationship with someone like years ago when I was like in, it was like seven years ago. And this girl would always tell me about her family members, her friends, um, her, her boyfriends, her three, four, five boyfriends uh, before me who would oh they would always be evil they would always be wrong and she would have like a pity party and i fell into it. i thought that dang like everyone's doing her wrong she was a, some innocent saint she was an innocent angel and i fell into that snare and see this is what these demons do because guys we're no longer dealing with people we're dealing with spirits okay we're dealing with demons and devils let's just keep it real straight up okay but this is this is the spiritual channel we're gonna let we're gonna let you guys know the root of what's the problems going on with our life, especially when it comes to dealing with people, when dealing with these dangerous people, okay? So these type of people, right? These dangerous people who come to our life, they will they'll come to you and, you know, this person was a bad person. They're not just not just like their family member, like their mom and their dad, no, their brother, their sister, their cousins. And it seems like everyone did them wrong. And they're they're the, in every situation, they're they're a victim. You gotta be very careful for these people, guys. You gotta be very careful for these type of spirits. Because these type of spirits are the people who take no accountability and the people who will who are just sent to destroy you. And see, this is how they deceive you. This is how they lure you in by playing the victim, by appearing to be an angel of the light. Okay, it's like how the, doesn't the devil do the same thing? Appear as angel of light. So his workers, the workers of iniquity, the people who are in Satan's army, they're going to do the same thing. Okay, and that's how they lure you in by playing the victim, how a plant being the innocent one. And us as empaths, us as children of God, we want to, you know, we want to believe that 
We want to help people. We want to see people when people when, when someone's against someone, we want to uplift them because that's the spirit that of God we have in us. We want to help someone. But you got to be very careful, okay? Don't let people take your kindness for weakness because that's what people are going to do. You got to be very cautious on who you help. You know, make sure you have a prayer life. Make sure you have the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit will let you know, okay, this person I can help. Oh, this person, I'm getting too many red flags. God's warning me a little bit. My spirit, you ever next to someone, right? And are you talking to someone and your spirit, just something feels off? Don't ignore it. Do not ignore it, okay? That's the Holy Spirit warning you, okay? So always keep that in mind. These type of people, when they always playing the victim, and I'm going to talk about that a little bit later, you got to avoid these type of people, these type of spirits, okay? Number three is a, a dangerous person gaslights and they do mind games manipulation okay what does gaslighting mean it means that to get someone to believe that they're wrong they're you know to get someone to lose their their worth their self-value uh to get people to be led to confusion to get someone to believe the lies and that's a form of manipulation and manipulation is a form of witchcraft okay so that's what dangerous and evil people will do guys they're gonna gaslight they're gonna make you feel like you're the horrible person they're going to twist all the good you did to make them feel like they're wrong. That's a form of manipulation, guys. Avoid these type of spirits, okay? These type of people are being used by the devil. These type of people are being used by in the, the kingdom of darkness, Satan's kingdom. You got to avoid these type of people. When someone's playing mind games, the manipulation, the tactics, okay? You got to take heed and whatever soul tie you have with that individual, you got to pray and fast it off, okay? Matthew chapter 17, verse 21 says, this come not by out, but by prayer and fasting. So, any soul ties you got with any individuals and you feel like they're, you know, they're gaslighting you, they're playing mind games, manipulation, you got to exit immediately because destruction lies near. And the, the more you surround yourself with these people, guys, there's many people who are in the grave because they didn't take heed to these signs. Oh, yeah. You know, oh, yeah. There's many people in the grave. Okay, there's many people who, who were on the narrow path, who were on the right side of history, the narrow path. And they, the certain spirit, okay, certain friendship, um, relationship they got into, and now, you know, the lake of fire awaits them, okay, because they fell into the, the, the agent of Satan, okay, they were deceived. So, guys, always keep that in mind. Have the Holy Spirit live a life of obedience so you won't fall into these snares. And yes, the Judas will come. Sometimes God allows Judas to come, just like how God allowed um, Judas to come to Jesus' life. So it's all just a test. They're going to come to, to betray you. That's what the Judas spirit does. But it's all part of the plan. Remember, Jesus would have never did what he did if it wasn't for Judas. So you got to understand that. Have wisdom, have knowledge, have understanding. That's all part of God's plan. Just stay on the right side of history. Stay on the narrow path. Keep Be obedient. That's the power in the spiritual realm, guys. Obedience. Number four, refuses responsibility and they have an unrepentant heart, which I was talking about Number with number two, it correlates, okay? Uh, they refuse responsibility. They're always, they always play victim. They're never wrong. They get other people to justify their, the wickedness, to justify their wrongdoings. And this is some, this is something that, I, one thing I learned about these devils, right? They can, they don't have a repentant heart, okay? They don't have, uh, you know, um, and they have an unrepentant heart. So when they do wrong, when they do evil, they don't feel no guilt. They don't feel no shame. It's like soulless because when we do wrong, okay, when we make mistakes, we feel, you know, us being uh, children of God, we feel some type of way. We have, we want to repent, you know, God, forgive me. Or maybe we hurt someone, you know, you know, forgive me. I'm sorry for doing so-and-so. We take accountability and we don't have no ill motives behind that, you know, because one thing when these devils do, when they do that, it's an agenda behind it. But us children of God, we actually mean it. Doesn't mean that they have to be our friend no more. They just, you know, we truly mean sorry, you know, and we want them to heal so we can heal too as well. Okay, we we want to forgive so God can forgive us, you know. But one thing about you know these dangerous people, these demons, these narcissists, these devils, okay, they refuse responsibility. They refuse responsibility, and they have an unrepentant heart. This is key, guys. This is key. They could do evil, they could do wrong, and they feel no remorse. They feel it's like. To, to them, they'll they'll think they're doing God. Even the Bible says that uh, the evil people, when they when they persecute you, they're gonna think that they're doing the Lord's work. They're just deceived. They're deceived, man. And see, one thing about deceived people, they try to deceive other people. So that's what I said. The Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, let it in your life. Okay, and to let it in your life, you have to be obedient. You can't live in an unclean lifestyle and have the Holy Spirit dwell in, in your temple because the Holy Spirit can dwell in a clean temple. So that's why repentance is key. Number five is sorry, something in the way. Or number five is. They peer pressure you to go against your conviction. So I was talking about how um, 
with number one. You know, you'll have people who will tell you that, um, let's go here, let's go here, or they're talking to you, and, and the whole the Holy Spirit's warning you, is grieving you. Like I remember, guys, a couple. This is way back. This is five, six, long time ago. Uh, someone invited me to a party, and I just wasn't feeling it. Like usually, I would go out a lot back then, but I don't know that night. I just wasn't feeling it. And, you know, this person was peer pressuring me, like, let's go, like, what the heck, you always come out, like, I'll, I'll give you this, like, bribing me and stuff. And I'm just like, nah, I'm not really trying to go, uh, maybe next weekend, but I'm just trying to just stay in and chill. And uh, that night, there was a shooting at that party. Now, that person who, who was peer pressuring me, they're still alive, but you see how that could work. Who knows? Maybe if I would have went there, the bullet would have hit me. Who knows, bro? So God warns us. He warned us over and over again. But sometimes, guys, we don't listen. So whenever you're feeling something in your spirit, believe it. Trust it. Okay? You, you, some people call it the intuition, your conscious. It's really the Holy Spirit letting you know. Okay? So whenever someone's peer pressuring you to go against your convictions, to go against, you know, what you believe in, in your soul and your spirit, what God is letting you know, you got to avoid these type of people. Okay? So these type of people can lead you to the grave. They can lead you to an early death, man. So always keep that in mind, man. Always have a relationship with the Son, Jesus Christ, and the Father, the Most High God. Okay, number six is unnecessary drama, always negative. We always know, we all know someone who's just always negative, always in drama, always talking about people. Now, there's nothing wrong to talk about people in a positive way. Oh, yeah, I just saw Mark the video. I love his video. There's nothing wrong with talking about someone in a positive way. But if you're always talking about someone in a negative way, in a negative light, that's a demon. <laughs> okay, guys, let's keep it real. That's a demon. Someone always be negative. Oh, always talking down on people. You got to avoid these type of spirits because misery loves company. And these miserable people will cause you to be miserable. Okay. So be very cautious of someone who's always an unnecessary drama, always negative, always just always has something bad to say about someone or bad to say about, you know, people in general. Okay. Be very careful for, for those type of people. Number seven. I know some people might be saying, uh, so number seven is bribe you with gifts. You know, we say, well, Mark, you know, gifts, you know, there's nothing wrong with gifts. The Bible says a gift destroys the heart. There's many times where uh, Satan sent his workers into my life and they would always be buying me gifts. They would always be giving me free things that I didn't even ask for. And one thing that it does is it blinds me to the true character because they're giving me gifts. They're giving me things that no one has ever done. So I'm over here believing that this person truly loves me. They truly wants me. But no, they're coming with an agenda because Satan then these demons, they get rewarded by destroying you. And one thing what Satan will do, God God gives his children tools and, and, and knowledge and wisdom to help us fight the spiritual war. Satan gives his children uh, certain money, certain, you know, certain um, tools. You know, now God can give his children money too, but Satan will give his children tools uh, to, to do his will. Okay, the children of Satan, they're doing, they're doing Satan's will. The children of God, we're doing God's will. Okay, so always keep that in mind that Satan will give them tools, give them uh, money to, to bribe you with gifts to, de to destroy your heart. Remember, the Bible says that a gift destroys the heart and it blinds you to a person's true character. And guys, this has happened to me many times. I fell onto the snare, the snare. So always keep that in mind. When someone's always giving you gifts, just, I, I would say, eventually, you got to deny it. Like, after a couple of times, like, oh, no, I'll pay for it this time. Oh, it's okay. You know, so not to say if someone giving you a gift is wrong, it's evil. I understand when someone's always giving you gifts, just always keep that in the back of your mind. Be very cautious. Number one is internal ex internal and external warnings from God. Number two is they have a history of people doing them wrong and past destruction and place victim. Number three, gaslighting and mind manipulation. Uh, number four is refusing responsibility and they have an unrepented heart. Number five is they peer pressure you to go against your convictions. Number six is unnecessary drama, always negative. And number seven is bribes you with gifts. I hope you guys learned something in this video. If you haven't already, make sure you guys smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And this video really helped you out. Make sure you guys share it so people can be informed. I love you guys so much. God bless you all. I'm out. Peace.